Hi, it's James. I'll show you how to use the bloom filter I've been working on for this new version of Affinity. It allows you to produce a glow effect, and you can choose how it blends tonally into your image or layer. I'm in the Pixel Studio, but you can be in any studio to use this filter. I'll add it to my document by going to Pixel, New Life Filter Layer, Blur, Bloom, and we'll see a difference in the image straight away. These three sliders let you control how much bloom to apply to the shadows, midtones, and highlights. You could, for example, choose to have bloom mostly in the highlight detail. Or I might bring the effect back into the midtones as well. Color lets you control how much saturation to add to the bloom effect, so you can have a more colorful result if you wish. Strong increases the overall effect, making the glow more noticeable. That's the contrast method. There's also a completely different approach called Bright, which is less colourful and produces a brighter bloom effect. I'll take the mid-tone slider down, then I can further control the effect by using the layer opacity here. We can see quite a difference at 0% where the filter is not being applied at all. I'll settle for 50%, then I can easily preview the effect by hiding and showing the bloom layer. The Bloom filter can also be applied selectively using the Filter Brush tool. I'll select it from the Tools panel here, and on the Context toolbar, I'll change the filter to Bloom. Then on this image, I may want to accentuate the glow of the light. I'll hold Command on Mac, Control on Windows, to switch to the alternative preset for this filter, which uses the Bright method. And I'll paint the effect onto the image. I want to make it stronger, so I'll click Edit Filter, and on the dialog I'll bring both the midtone and shadow sliders up. Then I can hide and show the bloom filter to see the before and the after. So there we go, a quick overview of the bloom filter. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.